it happened, and it's your fault. And I'll tell you why right after this. This, this is, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's get into the video. So yeah, this is the iPhone XR and I bought it and it's your fault. Let me explain. So if I'm really honest, it's actually kind of both of our faults. You see, the only reason I have this is because I have a YouTube channel and because all of you have been letting me know that you want to know what I think about this phone. And if it wasn't for having a YouTube channel, I would not have bought this. Like seriously, I wouldn't have bought it. I'm super happy with my Note 9. I have no reason to cross over, but I am a little curious about how the 10R kind of operates and is it worth your money or time? And some people want to know my opinion. So for the sake of that, I went and got one. But set it down all you Android white knights. This isn't actually mine. I, I did. I did buy it, but it's, it's not mine. My girlfriend's had an iPhone 7 Plus for a couple years and it's paid off. And it gave me an opportunity to have her upgrade to this and then also be able to play with it. So I don't actually have to switch over and I still get to check it out. So this solves a couple of things, but then doesn't solve everything. So I do get to play with it and kind of get a feel for what I think about it. The one thing it doesn't do is allow me to use it on a day-to-day -day basis and see if it would be something I would replace my Note 9 with. So that'll have to come later, but for now, at least I can tell you my thoughts about it. Now we went to actually go get the red or the blue or something like that, but they were sold out. So we ended up with white, um, which actually looks really good. I didn't, wasn't looking forward to getting a white, but man, this thing actually looks really cool. And the actual design of this thing is super nice. I'm not gonna lie, listen, the thing is super nice. Um, for a budget iPhone, this thing is anything but budget. I'm also impressed by how fast the face unlock works and how pretty much just everything is fast. This thing is speedy. It's, it's super nice, and of course, iOS is just really smooth. Now, I could say the same thing about my Note 9. It's super speedy and super nice and smooth, but there's something extra about iOS. There's something kind of simplistic. Um, and actually, that's kind of nice to get work done. Actually, it's one of the things that I've heard from people is that the reason they like iOS is because they get their stuff done. They don't have to tinker with it or, or mess around with it or whatever. But of course, if you're an Android fan like I am, that's kind of the thing we like about Android. We like being able to uh, customize and adjust and make things kind of our own. And that's not exactly something you can do with iOS, at least not out of the box. You can tweak like the background and stuff, but above and beyond that, it's kind of just what it is. It is what it is. But I can already tell you a couple things I don't like about the iPhone and mainly because of iOS. Um, there are a lot of things I do like, but let's start with the things that I'm just not a fan of. I've talked about this before and there's really, there's just no excuse for this. There's no notifications. So when the screen is off like that, how many notifications do I have? You literally have no idea. Yet with my note, I can look not only can I tell you that I have notifications, I can tell you what kind they are. I even know what time it is. And while that might seem like a small thing to someone who maybe is used to iOS, once you get used to it, it's hard to go back. Just let's let's just put that out there. It's, you can't you can't go back from that. I'm not gonna beat a dead horse and talk about how fast charging isn't available out of the box. I mean, you all know that it's kind of a thing. It is what it is. You, you gotta pay to play in the iOS world, I guess. And this is a small thing, but I don't like the fact you now have to press two buttons to turn the phone off the power button, which is now, I guess, a Siri button, and a volume up or down. And that's a small thing, but it's kind of like, what, well, why do I have to do that? They've repurposed the power button, or at least what used to be the power button, into, you know, Siri, which, you know. Eh. I will say that the performance on this thing is actually really good. And again, it's using the same processor as the 10s, which means it's actually faster than the 10, which must be making people who bought the 10 kind of go, damn. But let's be clear, if you are looking to upgrade from like the iPhone 7 or below, this is probably the path to take. You could go to a 10s or even a 10, but to be honest, like for the price and the different colors and I mean, everything else about it works. The camera's fine. You can see here some selfie pictures and stuff. It's fine, it works good. I like it. And if I ever decide to have two phones, one that's my, of course, my Galaxy Note and then an iOS device, this is probably going to be it. Pinch to zoom works good, works good on um, websites and things like that. I've also checked around in the operating system itself. It's pretty snappy. The performance is really good on this thing and it really we shouldn't have ever thought that it wouldn't be. And the controversial screen, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at it right now and it looks fine. Of course, I'm darn near blind as a bat, but you know, take that for what it is. So I don't know, if I end up being a tech YouTuber with two phones, this would probably be the second one. 
Whether or not I do that, I'm not really sure. You can leave me some comments below and let me know if you think I should have a second phone, which would be an iOS device. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. Thank <laughs> you.